basically, we're not asking for ideas. We just want to we just want to understand what they have in mind, right? Oh, uh, we're probably thinking, you know, something, uh, something like the meet up app where people can find and join a group. So that's something that might be something like, basically you're going to kind of figure out the product needs, just the business needs. So that's why this question's in here. This, this section's in here, because you want to think about the business as well. You know, what is the business opportunity does this actually create? Well, it, we we are able to gain enough uh, members, on, well, gain, gain enough um, users on the app, we can use that and leverage it to gain uh, partnerships with um, venues or sponsors like brands for events so users can sell product or um, not have to pay for a space themselves. Like, oh, that's interesting. So they're using the user base to, they want to use the user base to basically as leverage to to basically partner with venues or partner with brands. So therefore, if a, if a person who's a group person is in a particular community, um, the app will have certain venues for them to actually go and host an event. So they don't have to do it at their house. They don't have to go to like a coffee shop or a Dunkin' Donuts. Like the app will have certain venues that they want to, you know, have on the app as sponsors because that's how they're going to make money as well, right? Instead of selling ads on the particular platform, this is what I'm hearing when I, as they're talking to me, instead of selling ads and they're taking that maybe they're taking also, um, they're taking a percentage, taking a... And this is, goes into the question, like, how does a business make money? Uh, well, we're going to be taking a percentage of the tips and also uh, partnerships and sponsors. Well, this is good. To, I said spoos. Sponsors. I'm like, okay, this is good information to know. So now we know how the business is going to make money through a percentage of the tips paid uh, by the users and also sponsorships and with venues and partners and stuff like that that way because if uh, if if the app sponsors with the venue or if the app sponsors with the brand and they have a huge user base they're they're sending people to that particular venue they're sending people to that particular brand and they're gonna get and the brand or the venue is gonna get sales out of that because they are the funnel I'm like oh that makes so much sense. So now you're thinking like a business person now. We were thinking about the, we went from UX research, we went from being a UX designer, now we're been thinking about product and PM work. So basically we're thinking about um, this whole app holistically and not just super high focus on the users. Like remember, I'm a product designer. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a speak and think like one. So I'm thinking about the business as well. So those, I'm sorry. So 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 so, 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 so <laughs> oh my God. So those are some of the things that um, that the business would want to do. And next would be you know some constraints and limitations. You know, keep in mind like the device and you know, the type of interface, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we know we mentioned that we want to build we want to build an app an app. Are we thinking Android, iOS? Uh, we're thinking both, like, what are we thinking? Um, we want to build an app, but we want it to be, we want, we want it, it to be native. Well, why do you want it to be native? We want to take, um, take advantage, um, of the actual, of the full, the full use of the phone. Take advantage of, of the full use of the device 
that's good to know that they want to they want to go native. I'll be th- so if you say native, we'll be thinking uh, Android first or Apple first. We we definitely want to do iOS first. Okay, iOS first. Is Android something that we want to do in the future? Um, I'm not really. From what we understood, um, our most of our users are um, you know, iOS users. Oh, good to know. Okay, most of our users are iOS users. I'm gonna come over here and say most users are iOS users. So I'm gonna come back to that section and put that note in there. It's a, it's fine to jump around. You don't have to go super linear, but go linear in this process um, to make sure that you are you're organized. But if you hear something that goes into a particular section, feel free to go to that section, put that note in there. And so at this point. Um, I would still continue to ask more questions about like, you know, the device, you know, what are some other constraints of time? Time is a constraint, you know, they want to build it. We want to have this built in six months. I'm like, okay, good luck with that. How many developers you got to build this in six months? Uh, we have one developer. Oh, you got one de- one dev. All right, we might need to outsource some shit. <laughs> if you got one dev, you want to build this whole app in six months. That's gonna be tough. I mean, is that? And so, and I was just, and I would ask a question. Okay, you want to build this app in six months? Is that you know from when the dev starts the work, or that is that from when yeah, we start doing the research and basically putting together wireframes and prototypes? Oh, from when we do wireframes and prototypes, like, oh, so the dev, so can we assume to get this built, can we assume that the dev, this video is brought to you by Springboard. Hey guys, if you have ever been wanting to make the transition from being graphic designer, teacher, I don't know, truck driver, whatever, to being a UX designer, you got to try Springboard. You just have to try it. I did Springboard. That's how I got my start. That's how I made the transition. That's how I got things done. That's how I got my first job was I took what I took the projects that I did in Springboard, put it in my portfolio, submitted that, and then I got a job interview. I'm not saying it's easy like that, but that's kind of how it happened for me. So if you guys are looking to make a career change and you want to switch over to user experience, data analytics, whatever the heck you want to do, Springboard has it for you. Springboard is pretty cool. They offer a, a mentor on a one-on-one, so you get to meet with a mentor uh, once a week, which is pretty cool. I'm also a mentor at Springboard, so if you sign up, you might get me, who knows? Also, they offer a job guarantee, which is pretty cool, meaning that if you don't get a job, you know, six months after you get your certification or after you graduate, they will give your tuition back, they will give all that back, which is pretty cool. Also, because you are an Ugly Unicorns listener, you will get a thousand dollars off your course when you use my coupon code at checkout. It is Ugly Unicorns SB1000. That is U G L Y U N I C O R N S S B 1000. Yes, because you are Ugly Unicorns listener, you get a thousand dollars off your course. So go be a UX unicorn, go be an Ugly Unicorn, and sign up with Springboard. I'll see you there. Well, the devs will realistically only have five months to build because it's going to take me a month just to get it designed, prototype, tested, etc. Yeah, I can do that in a month. So, they think about constraints and limitations. Uh, limitations is, you know, limitations of iOS, limitations of not having enough people limitations of uh, a time constraint. So those are things that I have to take into consideration. So at this point, before I jump down to the bottom and start looking at ideas, I want to kind of summarize everything that just kind of happened so I can kind of put together an idea. And so I would kind of go through, it's like, you know, based on what I heard so far, you know, we definitely want to, you know, help Americans who work from home, uh, particularly devs. and um, you, you know, we want to be able to have these devs, you know, join a group, get notified, you know, pay and tip and pay. And, um, you know, we also want to help them with their mental health. You know, we really want to help the minds of those individuals and help them really go out and build uh, professional and, and friendship relationships. Uh, so that way they can really 
be in a community because as humans, you know, we need that camaraderie. We need that human element. We need that sense of community. And, you know, we're basically targeting, you know, devs who are 22 to 44 years old. They live in San Francisco or any major tech city and they work about 60 hours a week. Sometimes they even work on the weekends. And, um, you know, they don't have a lot of time. You know, some of them might have pets. You know, they're mostly single because they don't have enough time to meet people. And they're mostly iOS users, which is pretty interesting for a dev. They typically don't go for iOS, but okay, we're going to go with that for this story. And, um, and so particularly because they don't have a lot of time and stuff like that during the day or on weekends, they want to be able to actually go to an event that's kind of close by. They don't want to drive more than 30 minutes and they don't want to be like at an event for a very, very long time. Uh, the max they would probably stay in an event is probably an hour because they're realizing that they got to include drive time within that hour because they do have a pet or an animal that they have to get back home to and feed and take outside and, 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 and potty and all that stuff. So we just want to make keep in mind with that. And also, we, we, we kind of understand that they are they are using some tools out there to help them. Um, they might be using a combination of tools to really help them with this situation. Some people might be using Facebook with Meetup, or maybe they're using LinkedIn with Reddit, et cetera, et cetera. They might be using a combination of different things. And this is good to know that they're, they're doing something, but we're going to really help them do better. And um, and also what we heard is some of the product needs is, um, you know, we need to make money from this. You know, we're taking some, we're taking like a percentage of the, of the actual a pay and a tip. And we're also um, going to be using the user base to leverage and get partnerships and, and sponsorships so that users can actually have places to go. Um, but actually the host people actually have places to go when they actually want to do an event. And then, you know, some of the constraints that I've heard too is, you know, we have like six months to build this, but realistically, we have five months for actual dev to build it. And we only have actually one dev. So that's going to be sort of a problem. And also we're building straight native. So we're going to be using uh, Xcode, a Swift UI. And maybe there's some UI kids out there that we can probably use to help streamline this process. I would go through this whole thing and I would just do that. Summar I would summarize and clarify all the different things. Then I would just go through this and say like, hey guys, I feel really good about where we are at, at the moment. Um, do you mind if I go into, you know, jotting down some different ideas? They'd be like, yeah, we feel pretty good about that too. And um, so basically with this first beginning part here, I want to be spending about 30 minutes. Come on, 30 minutes really putting together this whole like um, gathering information. Um, you should not be doing, when you're doing this task, use the hour. Like I said before, use the full hour. Don't try to blaze through this. Take your time, ask more questions. If you have more questions you want to add to the questions that I have here, please add them. Uh, you definitely want to spend 30 minutes or more really collecting questions. Um, you want to spend the last 30 minutes idea and then wireframing. Okay, this, this okay. So I would basically go out and say like, hey, I'm going to put down some ideas that I want to do for a particular um, app idea. So I was like, okay, an app idea that I kind of have is, you know, sort of similar to like a Tinder idea where you can like swipe to swipe to like an event. So like I would put like, you know, sw like uh, swipe to like an event. Um, that's sort of an idea, you know, something that's very quick. Swipe to like event um, within your area. It's WIP. Oh god! Oh my god! Swipe to like an event. Another idea is um, what I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to do this on the fly. I really didn't plan it. So um, I'm trying to think of some ideas that could really help the users out. Um, one could be we can kind of leverage their you know their their location their their um their their map whatever within that. So thinking about this, this could be a, um, what could we say? Connect to connect, basically using um, their local, basically using their, 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 their local history, where they've been, kind of where they've been going, kind of leveraging Google Maps. So we can probably use, use Google Map to also, um, find and connect with people. So that wouldn't make no sense. It's going to be a throwaway one. 
<laughs> Another one could be um like a um Airbnb for events where I can search for my search for my city, search and join. So, so I can look for I can look for an event, I can search and join, I can see how many people, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then kind of a last one. I usually do like three to four ideas, but um, I put like my one idea that I actually want to do and I throw, throw in a couple of throwaway ideas. And then um, another event that we could actually do is, you know, um, kind of leveraging either LinkedIn. So leveraging, leverage LinkedIn and possibly uh, doing some integration with them and kind of seeing who in my area are my LinkedIn friends and then trying to form a group with them as well. So that was kind of what I would probably do. And then I would take these ideas that I just made up randomly. They don't have to be great. I would take it and I'll plot them. I'm like, okay, this idea I like, so I kind of like swiped like an event. It's a great idea. Um, it has great impact. I think it has kind of low effort. It's, I'm gonna put that um, kind of right here. And then this one, you know, the Google thing, um, you know, it has, you know, pretty low impact. Um, maybe not as great as effort. I'm gonna put okay for that one. And then Airbnb for one, I'm like, eh, it's, it's okay. But it might have, I might put that kind of right here. And then this one over here would be like, it's, uh, I don't know. We'll put it kind of like, I think it has low effort to integrate. No, maybe it has integrate, but it doesn't have really that much impact. So as I'm looking at this, I'm kind of guesstimating. I'm kind of, kind of like guessing like where these kind of impact and efforts will go. And so that's kind of what I'm doing for that. And I'm also just looking at them. Okay, if I put it in this section, in this section here, I'm like, okay, I feel I feel pretty good about uh, this particular one here. Kind of like the swiping one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like task this out. <laughs>